All right, you lot, don't forget to give us a follow on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And while you're at it, give us a five-star rating. Trust me, it really does help us out. Well, we've got to talk about Alex Pillow because yeah, he's recently been announced as reserve at McLaren. Oh, McLaren, yeah, indeed. Mm. indeed. One All of, change. <clears throat> lots, of, lots of dons who could, who could do the job. For, for McLaren as, as reserves because mm. Zach Brown is just collecting them like Infinity That's what right he now. is. He's going crazy. That's that shiny Pokemon have, cards? Yeah, man, it's mad. <clears throat> we had the Piastri versus Palo versus... Uh, what's wait, what, what's it's O-Ward. Oh, O-Ward. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I love Alex Palo. Again, like, I find his story so interesting because he was kind of like just sort of just bopping about in like GP3 mm. and F3 and stuff. Went over to America and then, yeah, he's just fucking just gone on one indie car. We had a breakout year, didn't he, in his second year. And then, yeah. that, that's the thing. He, so he, Spanish, started yeah. in Europe, yeah, yeah. raced amongst a lot of the kind of current F1 crop in junior yeah, formulas. Yeah, junior formulas, yeah. Um, and didn't really set the world alight. Mm. Um, decided to go to the US, which I think it's really nice that he kind of has taken that route. Yeah, and I think now, it's, um, it's carved that route out for a lot of other, mm. because you've got like Christian Lundgaard and stuff going yep, over there. Yeah, Callum and, Yeah, Callum Eilat as well. Like people, I think I've seen IndyCar now as kind of like a, oh yeah, that's actually a legitimate step in my career. Mm. Like if for whatever reason, F3 or F2 aren't really like providing me what I need or I'm not at a team that's competitive, I can go over to Indy Lights or whatever and then actually make a career in IndyCar as well. Mm. Even if you're just like from Spain. We are in Denmark or whatever. You don't need to be like Jamie Chadwick's gone to Indian Indy Lights. Lights. Yes, next year as well. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's interesting that. But <clears throat> but what do we think of? Because obviously, big pressure on Piastri. Yeah. For next year, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. degree of pressure on Lando to to keep doing what he's doing. Basically, yeah, yeah I think so. Um, which I see no reason why he he shouldn't because it no. seems very as comfortable as he can be with that <clears throat> at times. Kind of. But do we think that plo has got a shot? Like, it's very hard to look at Piastri because there wasn't that immediate jump mm. into Formula One like we saw with George where he went straight in, Charles went straight in. I do wonder if that year out might maybe like hinder his opportunity. And maybe that's where, because Plo did the, uh, he did FP1 for McLaren in yeah. Austin and did a sick <clears throat> job. Like Jovanazzi is bang, banging it into the wall. Yeah, yeah, Pelot's yeah. ripping it. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised Piastri didn't do like any kind of racing yeah. last year to be honest, because I know obviously, uh, you, you know, uh, McLaren have been doing a lot of testing with him, they with the have, old car. They have, yeah, no, that's that's good. But obviously like, when when Red Bull have this mm. sort of situation where they know they can't get someone in straight away, but they're going to be able to get in the next year. Mm. So like Pierre Gasly go off and do like Super Formula. Yep. And it's like, you're just at least keeping someone keeping in the fresh. seat, you know, keeping the seat warm, quite literally. Um, so that they have like a bit of momentum to carry into Formula 1. I think Piastro is like a generational like, I know that gets thrown around a lot, but I think he's a very good driver. Um, I, don't, I think Lando will probably beat him because Lando's just been like best of the rest so yeah. comfortably for the last two seasons now. But yeah, I do worry that maybe it'll just like take the edge of sharpness off a little bit, just at the start anyway. Yeah, I think I think McLaren are in a strong position though. That they've obviously yeah. seen enough in Polo to be like, cool, like we'll get you in as a reserve. I mean, it's a good lineup, isn't it? I mean, you've got what, Lando and Piastri, that's that's a lineup that in theory they could keep hold of for a, lot, for a while. Yes. And if absolutely. it doesn't work out, they've then got two other relatively young drivers as well who have done like IndyCar stuff that they could like kind of just bring in if they needed to, like Palo and O'Ward. Mm. Well, because you're yeah. living, like I think they're all what they're all below the age of like 25. Yeah, they're all like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing. Nuts. They're, they're all still so young. I think IndyCar does a better job at preparing you as a racing driver for F1 than than, than anything. Yeah. I, I yeah. get the merit yeah. of being in F2 and you know being amongst that F1 circus and, and the calendar as well. I think you, you obviously yeah you, you, the tracks you're racing yeah. on yeah. are the same as F1 tracks. I get that, but the IndyCar field is just stacked with yeah. talent, Will Power, Scott McLaughlin, like Joseph Newgarden, like these are drivers yeah. who like know what they're doing and you've got yeah. like, you've got the, like you're racing in ovals, you're racing mad street tracks, like, yeah, you, yeah, like Sebring where it's like, blah, 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 like yeah, you're bopping, you're bumping mate, up and down all over the place. It's mad, like these F1 drivers <laughs> moan about porpoising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Try IndyCar around Seabrook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. thank you. They're driving um, over like fucking manhole covers and all sorts of shit over there. It's crazy. That's why I, I think McLaren, like you say, I, th I think McLaren are in a good place. They're kind of the opposite of Haas. Haas have gone like old, uh, experienced yes. lineup. <laughs> well, it's, I guess it's it's based on what you need, isn't it? You know, McLaren yeah. are kind of like on the rise. They, there's there's a there's a potential to arrive at like 
winning stuff soon based on you know budget capital mm. that sort of jazz you know they're, they're kind of next up next in line if, if you like along with Alpine. Yeah. whereas Haas kind of just need to stabilize shit they need to just stop getting into accidents and stuff so just having a you know a experience like do you think McLaren will do it them. do you think they'll break into the I don't know about next season I think next season might be a little bit too soon I think Lando got one podium this year yeah I think you might see more podiums I, I would love to imagine that they're competitive in a sense where you like a couple of race weekends mm. in, a, in a season you're actually seeing them like on merit in the top like four or five that's yeah. got to be the aim really but I don't think consistently I don't think you'll see them like challenging for wins like all the time yeah I'm, I'm really interested like how this <clears throat> sliding scale with aero kind of changes yeah. things I'm just um, interested to see whether like what the jump can be from like mid tape like um mid teams to like sort of mm. into that title battle like how long does it take yeah like, but also talking of like the, the sliding scale but also the money because i know like between each <laughs> position is about 12 13 million mm. it might be dollars i'm not sure sometimes mm. they're doing dollars but williams just got 26 mil fair play of rocket their old sponsor you know that horrible ugly rocket sponsorship yep, on that I car do indeed yeah in 2019 yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry i thought that was absolutely dead like, like toothpaste and basically it's been going through the courts for like a couple of years now i think since they 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 yeah. dipped yeah. and 26 mil pounds as well Oof. great british stir you ain't ever gonna see rocket on a form on a car ever again no. 26 mil that's a lot of money they're done then they sponsor w series as well that, yeah, they do a lot of motorsport sponsorship, Rocket. Well, they ain't anymore. They're about... <laughs> they don't have the funds for that. <laughs> yeah, you got to wonder, don't you? But it's the bank account dry. You know what? Like for Williams, <clears throat> twenty six mil, mate. Twenty six million. They didn't have Shh. before. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs Lavazza, mate? <laughs> Who needs the TV? That's why they they were like, oh, we're sure this will come through. Yeah. Like, and if it hadn't gone through, they'd be like, Nicholas, can you come back, please? You mind, mind mate? Sorry, Logan. But yeah, I think that puts Williams in a. Stronger position for next year as well. Yeah, definitely. Well, what what do you think about them? Just like just generally next season, like where do you think they finish? Mate, in my preseason predictions, I put them like I put Albon eleventh and Latif like fourteenth because I just thought they were going to be good. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, I know. Looking back, but <laughs> I, I, you know what? I had a bit of faith in Williams as well. <laughs> good regs changed. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's what like, I mean. Fundamentally, it wouldn't. It didn't make sense for them to still. No offense. Be bad. Because like, yeah, they still are. There was like everyone was changing. Like yeah. the whole field would kind yeah, of just like yeah. move around a little bit. So obviously they were at the back originally, they were, but they were getting there. Like mm. at, the, at the end of twenty twenty two, no twenty twenty one. Sorry, mm. they were obviously like you, you had George getting fucking second in Spa. Obviously a bit crazy circumstances, yeah. but like there was movement towards like actual midfield. So mm. it's like oh yeah, cool, they're gonna make it back down again. Mm. That's what I mean. I just. Uh... You want to see a William, a name like Williams, yeah, with that history and heritage and at the top. But yeah, I, I, but what I will say about Williams, right, just on this brief tangent, is before they become good again, before they become even average, mm. please get a good livery. Oh, all right, because I beg, fucking hell, lads, we can't, we can't be doing this. Williams need like iconic liveries yeah man i'm not seeing duracell on the car and that's it <laughs> it's, it's, it looks like it's powered by a nine volt battery this is ridiculous that's and then the rest is. of the car's just default blue that's it uh, what is this and they've got no paint on it they basically took the livery off yeah i think they knew they knew, the they knew it was bad they were like oh, oh yeah we're is... just saving weight no it's just a dead livery please lads yeah before you become good just lock down some kind of sponsor or just Make it look a bit iconic again. That would be nice. That would be good. That'd Cheers, be nice. We'll see. We'll see.